This morning, a group of Vietnam veterans are on their way to our nation's capital, all thanks to Honor Flight San Diego. A trip of a lifetime. Right. CBS 8's Chris Groh had the chance to speak with some of our nation's heroes right before they took off. More than 90 Vietnam veterans all waiting again for their opportunity to get on that flight, to have this trip of a lifetime. All of them very much excited. A lot of caffeine also flowing around, which is pretty necessary this early in this morning. I want to bring in Holly here with Honor Flight San Diego. And Holly, we have a very special guest here from a very special uh, unit there in the Navy. What can you tell us here about Rocco Mann? Yeah, I want to introduce you here to Rocco Mann. Rocco was part of the Navy HAL 3 Sea Wolves. And if you didn't know who the Sea Wolves where they went on our last flight. We did an, an entire squadron of Sea Wolves. They were the most decorated naval unit of the Vietnam War, and the, they still are the most decorated naval unit in aviation history. And, and Rocco, we, we mentioned there was the previous honor flight. You had a chance to go on there or a chance to do something really special. You had a hard decision to make here. Could you explain it for us? Yeah, it was really special. Uh, my daughter in law, uh, Colonel Nicole Mann, the United States Marine Corps, was the mission commander for SpaceX 5. And uh, if I wasn't there for a launch, I'd be a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> so so obviously you missed the last honor flight to watch your daughter-in-law go up in space. She's, she's at the International Space Station right now, right? She's currently on the space station having a wonderful time. Yeah. Hard at work. Yeah. And for you to, to now have this chance to get on the honor flight, knowing, and I'm sure you're so proud of your, your daughter-in-law up in the uh, ISS, is that, like, I mean, think about it. She could, I know she probably won't, can't, but she could be watching you from the International Space Station on this honor flight. You got to get the best of both worlds, right? Oh, yeah, it yeah. really is. And one of, one of the good, really good things was is that another guy, my uh, uh, wingman in Vietnam, uh, he wasn't able to make the flight either, and he's on this flight with us oh, because great. they closed the airport in Orlando because of the hurricane. Oh, so we're great. both on this flight together anyway. That's awesome. It, it worked out great. And I know for you, you've got to be really proud. What are you most looking forward to on this trip? Oh, listen, we're looking forward to seeing the monuments. But most of all, it's absolutely fantastic to talk to the other veterans. Uh, I volunteer at the VA and I talk to a lot of veterans, but here is a whole different group. And, uh, you know, it's real interesting. You talk to the the PVR guys, which were the riverine forces that we supported, uh, haven't run across any SEALs yet, but, uh, you know, a lot of Army guys that flew helicopters, and then when they find out that we flew the old B-model Huey gunship, they go, oh, my goodness. So, but anyway, you know, it's, it's, it's really a lot of fun. And going to see the monuments is going to be really yeah, exciting, especially with all these guys who have lots of memories, and they all like to share them. Awesome. Well, Rocco, Holly, always, thank you so much. Thank you for your service. Thank you for everything that you do, Holly. And you guys have a great flight to D.C., all right? Thank you so much. And, guys, we're going to send things back to you. But, again, what an amazing choice to have to make, right? Go watch your daughter-in-law on her first space mission or go to the honor flight. But you know what? It's always great to know you got that honor flight in your back pocket because the honor flight, they, they were not going to let Rocco miss this opportunity.